But as the police were retreating, once they had uh, retrieved that particular individual, they were backing out slowly. There were jeers, there were cheers, there was delight that the protesters felt they had had another victory. And bear in mind, this has been about five days that this has been going on. Something's going on over here, and you can see a number of people running in to the airport. We're not quite sure what's happening at this point. But this is the kind of thing you don't want to happen, to have this kind of stampede of an awful lot of people. As we understand it, there were police outside. We did believe that some of those police vans had left. It's hey, possible be, be that careful, this happened. The riot police has left. The riot police. The riot police. Okay, some of the protesters are now saying the riot police have arrived. We don't know that for sure, but certainly something has spooked these protesters. You can see that they are all trying to get back. Now, of course, this would be a great concern, because bear in mind, this is an international airport. There are passengers here waiting for their flights. Just downstairs in the arrivals department, which was a little less crazy and chaotic, there are children down there. So it would be a surprise, to say the least, if the riot police were to come into the Hong Kong International Airport. But certainly from these images that you're seeing right now, these protesters are very concerned about something that they have seen. Now we do know, I can see at the moment there are ambulances outside. There have been ambulances outside the whole time. Yes, Kate. I'm sorry, I don't even know if you can hear me at this point, Paula, because it seems really chaotic where you are. It looks like, I mean, what, I, what I'm looking at is people are injured that are, com that are being brought past you. Obviously this is, we don't know what's going on, and, but where exactly are you in the airport? Can you give people a, a, paint a picture for where you are, where these folks are kind of running from and to? Well, what we're seeing at the moment is a couple of people running in injured, as you say. I mean, this man has just had his eyes washed out by a colleague. Now, whether that is potentially pepper spray, we simply don't know. We weren't outside when this happened, but that would be in keeping with what you would expect a reaction from pepper spray to be. Now, we do know that once the police did retreat from the airport, there were a number of protesters that actually ran out after them. Whether or not this was an altercation after that effect, we simply don't know. But yeah, there were a lot of people coming in and they have very sore eyes. This does look as though it may have been pepper spray, although we can't confirm that at this point. But certainly something has happened outside to make these protesters run back in. I'm just trying to have a look and see if I can see any more police vans out there. There does appear to be police vans still outside the airport along with a fire truck and also some ambulances. Paulo, and where you are, I mean, is, and you can is see the where you and your crew well, are, is it secure, are is it safe? Well, I mean, we're in a, an international airport, so you would imagine we would be safe. We're taking a look at these images of people coming in and, and they're telling everybody to move back. But once again, you have to bear in mind, there are passengers inside this airport that haven't managed to get on a plane, that have been waiting to get on a plane. And you can see the riot police outside the window right there. The, protect, the protesters were correcting that. The riot police are now running towards the entrance of Hong Kong International Airport. These are remarkable scenes. There are passengers in this airport. Yes, there are protesters, but there are people who are waiting to get on a flight. Now, if you see these green and blue lights, this is lasers that protesters are trying to use to put the police off. that may have worked at least for the time being. Protesters are trying to put some kind of blockade with the, across the entrance with the so that they cars. can't get in. You can see the trolleys being used there. Paula, help our exactly. viewers, help our viewers understand. I mean, the, the riot police coming into the Hong Kong International Airport, this has not happened. This is a, this is a major escalation if, if they come back in, correct? 
This is one of the world's busiest airports. This is a massive transport hub. This is not somewhere that you expect riot police to be coming into. And I've spoken to a number of protesters and they have said that they didn't believe this would happen. They have said that they thought that they had they were onto a good thing. They thought the fact that they were protesting in the airport meant that they were going